Retirement is a bad idea. Can you believe that I just said that? Yes. <laughs> We're going to find out why. <laughs> All right, you just blew our minds with your crazy statement, retirement is a bad idea. I, I'm, I'm guessing, I, no, I'm not even gonna guess. Start explaining yourself. Because I mean, we all think that retirement is like the goal. We wanna, we wanna stop working and go and live, you know, mm. drink smoothies on the beach. I, would, I wouldn't say we all, but I would say that's the general traditional yeah. idea is you work, 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 work. Nine to five, blah, blah, blah. And then, boom, you retire, and it's just, yeah, it's all Mai Tais on the beach, right? So the, the main problem I have with that whole plan is, uh, well, there's, there's a lot. There's got to be more. There's, a, there's a lot. Yeah, but the main one. The first one. The first, okay. Is everyone that I know that is really looking forward to retirement hates their job. And that's, that's a big, one of the biggest reasons why they want to retire. That's a good point. So they're dedicating up to 40 years of their life doing something that they don't like. That's like eight hours every single day. They're doing that for 40 years. I'd say more than 40 at this point, right? 45, 50. I mean, if you're retiring yeah. at 65, right? I mean, you, yeah. know, you start at 18 or something. And uh, to finally be able to do what you want with your life. And by that time, you're old. And out of shape. Yeah, and wrinkly. Unhealthy. Yeah. You're, not, you're not able to, to do some of the fun stuff. So it's like... <laughs> Yeah, retirement is good for that, that rare person that actually has enough saved. I worked in finance for a long time <laughs> and saw there were like 401ks, those type things. People aren't really able to retire off them. That's why there's, there's wonderful greeters at Walmart. And That's a good point. Anyway, yeah. um, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop a plug for a book, The, the 4-Hour Workweek. Oh, yes, you've mentioned talks that. It sure, talks I've about mini retirements. I'm sure you listened there. to it. I have listened to it many, many times. But never read it. He, uh, <laughs> I have not read it. He, uh, he is a uh, I don't read that critic, much. A but critic I, of audiobooks. But I, no, I'm not a critic. I'm just saying I'm a critic of people who use them to replace reading. That's why I always ask, were you jogging? Were you driving? Or are you just sitting around listening to a book when you could actually have it? And most people are doing something. The only times I ever sit there and do nothing is when I'm actually trying to fall asleep and I'll use an audiobook to put me to sleep. See now and I all I'm saying is I know we're off topic, but by actually holding up a book and the movement of your eyes and, and, and all of that, that's gonna make you way more tired than hearing the author drone on. And although it does put Perhaps. me to sleep too. But I'm just Perhaps. saying I just don't want to see reading go away. I'm a big fan. Anyway. So he's starting a foundation Keep reading alive. So that's why I'm never going to retire. I'll be in my 90s and I won't be doing anything. I do read a lot on the screen, computer screen. Oh. I'm reading. Texts, yeah. emails. Yeah, on my phone. <laughs> I'm reading all the time. <laughs> but let me, then before you move on, let me just chime in here too. Uh, absolutely have never planned on retiring. Now, that may be a function of who I am and what I am. I'm a performer, an entertainer, a speaker, a trainer. Um, I don't feel like I have. I don't feel like I'm ever working enough in my field. We're always waiting for the next thing and trying to get the next gig. And so I can't even imagine at 60 or 65 being done. A, there's still work for me to do as a 70 or 75-year-old voice uh, narrator guy or as a speaker or trainer. But also I would be so unbelievably bored if I weren't still working. And by working... I mean a pleasant blend of retirement and work. I think there's a lot to being with your family, being with your mm -hmm. grandkids, retiring, sipping Mai Tais, virgin Mai Tais on the beach or whatever, but also having something that keeps you going, that gets you up each day, that it maybe is work-based or at least is doing something. Part of my bias comes from the mentality I have about being an employee. I, I've, I've just not built to be an employee where if I'm just a, a cog in someone's machine, mm -hmm. you know, a cog on the wheel in somebody's machine, and I'm just showing up, I'm not creating anything. The business owner, they're the ones that get to create and decide where the company goes, and I'm just there to, to, do, my, to do my time. It's like 
I'm not in that as an employee in that role, I'm not really purpose driven and I would want to retire from that. But I've had so many years as an entrepreneur where I get to create and I get to choose the direction I want to go. I don't want to stop this. This is what this is. Right. This is what I'm enjoying and I'm fulfilling my purpose and I'm creating and I'm really excited about my accomplishments. I'm really looking forward to the future. Now, I just a couple of weeks ago came back from an amazing vacation. Oh, it was awesome. It was it was good. We were at a cabin on a reservoir waterfront, totally able to recharge. Mm -hmm. I totally want to go back. I could see myself like taking a good vacation like that every quarter. Right. That'd be that'd be amazing. And you're young and you're able to enjoy it right oh, yeah. now doing it while you you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You've got children who play and a wife who's active. So I, I I mean to your point, if you're to save up all that out, we'll do that when we're older and retired. Chances are there's there's going to be things that get in the way of that. So enjoy it now while you can. And truly, it's almost an unfair thing to say retirement is a bad idea. Because those that are watching that are working for the man, that are a cog, mm -hmm. they go, yeah, but Nate, you are an entrepreneur. You you do run your own business, so you have that freedom. What do you say to them? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and I guess that's the question is, is the message today, quit your job and start your own business? My message today is if, <laughs> if you're miserable. I got him now. If you're miserable, is that really what you want? <laughs> <laughs> let, let me bring I in another that. point. <laughs> that's good. If, <laughs> yes, if it is. If I'm an employee... Oh. I don't get to choose my coworkers. Generally, that's true. So Generally. I'm spending more time with people that I don't choose than I am even with my family, mm -hmm. with my wife and kids. Yeah. But does that does that make sense? Yeah. Like, no. no, I get it. You're you're basically you're painting a picture of of really a, a common work environment, in which people spend seventy five percent of their waking lives with non family members, and 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 beyond that, they're people that they didn't get to pick or hire or hand select because they're so charming and amazing and fun and lovable. And if they're in a job also where they feel like this isn't my dream job, I didn't grow up wanting to be this, but I'm in it because I'm indebted and I need money, um, then retirement does look like heaven. You, you, you can't wait to retire from that. So these are, these are just my strong opinions. I hear you. It's, it's how I, I want to roll. Uh, you know, the, <laughs> I do not think it's a sin to be an employee. I think you can be an employee and actually make it to heaven. That's the ultimate goal. So you're not a sinner if you're an employee. I'm but, glad you made that clear. <laughs> yeah, in case you were, in case you're like. But for me, it's like I really do feel like I would be doing something wrong. I'd be letting myself down if I were an employee. Yeah. I really feel that way. No, that's cool. I think this is a great, a great topic, great discussion. Because what you may have done is you've got people thinking, you know, if he feels that strongly about it, is it just Nate? Oh, obviously not. There's a bajillion other people that have their own businesses, that do their own thing, that call their own shots, that call their own vacation times, and that actually select the people they want to be with three quarters of their lives. And you might be one of them. And so if this in any way serves you, then job done. Yeah, if it inspired you to, you know, light that spark of entrepreneurship, that's why I wanted to make this video. I think, I think everybody watching has something that they think they're really good at, or that they really love, that they want to do. And if they've been able to marry that to the job that they're in, more power to them. But even like you were doing, you know, you were doing things that you were good at that you were able to leave your job and just do on your own anyway mm -hmm. and do it better for clients and cheaper. And it's built and grown. So maybe there's ways for you to do what you want to do on your own. So my biggest piece of advice right now that will help you the most Hit that subscribe button. I was one like, he's pregnant. What's he gonna say? What's he gonna say? Wow. Hit the subscribe button, <laughs> like the video, ring the bell, and we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>